my mum was always in the kitchen, so um, I'd always kind of come in and help out a little bit and uh, just always watch what she was doing and try and involve myself as much as I could. A lot, like, I actually I've got good memories of soup. You can't, you can't buy and you can't make soup the same as your mum's soup, I think. And you always, especially when you're sick or you're unwell and not off school, you always have a lot of soup to try and make for better, and that's kind of a, a fond memory dish that I used to enjoy a lot. I was a, I was a vegetarian, mm -hmm. so she, um, I redesigned like a, the, a recent dish with sea urchin and caviar to get away in. It's basically a, a yogurt and, and quinoa and pea pan cotton and fresh peas and fromage blanc ice cream, so it's a nice combination of sweet spring ingredients with a bit of uh, citrus as well. That he does with lots of legumes with peas and very green. It looks very natural and very attractive to the eye. Really want to just really enjoy it. He's very caring, um, and yeah, he's very determined. He uh, sets his goals. Thanks for doing what you've done. It's been an amazing childhood, amazing um, way to grow up, amazing environment, and uh, it's it's been incredible. I couldn't have asked for anything else, and I think I got a lot more than many people have. Thank you for being a wonderful son, and I always call you my favourite son. And uh, yeah, I, I miss you being at home. But it's great that when you come, it's great to come here. I'm Kirk, this is my mum. It's been fantastic to see you. Thanks very much. Bye! Bye.